This is Dr. Habib. So how was your sleep last night? It's important to know that there's few studies now to show that if you have excessive sleep or insufficient sleep, you could have a problem. So the definition of excessive sleep is people who sleep more than 10 hours a day. They have a 15% decline in cognitive function. People that have insufficient sleep, which is the most of us, we go to bed late, wake up early. Insufficient sleep is where you may have less than maybe six hours sleep. What, uh, what's the consequence? The consequence is that there's a 24% decrease in cognitive decline. Now, even more important is people are people who are diagnosed with insomnia. What happens when you've been diagnosed with insomnia? Obviously, it's probably severe enough to seek medical advice. In many cases, after lifestyle changes, maybe they're put on medication. Insomnia patients have a 27% decrease in cognitive decline. And the ultimate sleep apnea. That definitely interrupts your sleep, maybe 100 times in a, in a night. And those people have a 29% decrease in cognitive decline, as well as many other problems like low testosterone. Now, what is the hypothesis behind this? They think there are three things at play. One is inflammation. The other one is lack of oxygen, hypoxia. Or another way to look at it is lack of blood flow. And the third one is inability to detoxify for people who did not sleep well. Well, the question is, what is the right amount of sleep? You look, it varies from people to people, but between six and eight hours. But too much can be bad for you, and too little is bad. A simple way to check that is when you wake up, are you rested? Do you have energy for the rest of the day? So it's important to understand that quality sleep is important. In order to identify what are the factors or the consequences, there's going to be a back and forth between blood flow, inflammation, and the brain's ability to detoxify. That's why at Next Health, we look at all these parameters in their individual states and see how they contribute not only to sleep, but how they affect the whole body.